हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस टॉपिक इज स्टेप अप चॉपर इन द अर्लियर वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस स्टेप डाउन चॉपर दिस इज द अपोजिट केस सो लेट अस स्टार्ट स्टडिंग दिस स्टेप अप चॉपर दिस इज द करस्पोंडिंग सर्किट डायग्राम एल एस इज सम लार्ज इंडक्टर व्हिच इज प्लेस्ड इन सीरीज विद दिस सर्किट सो एल एस इज द लार्ज इंडक्टर वी एस इज द सप्लाई वोल्टेज एफ डब्ल्यू डी is free wheeling diode this is a switch we which we can say it has a uh, chopper switch which can be izbt or mosfet this is rl load we are supposed to measure the voltage output voltage across this rl now as i said this is the chopper switch so there are two types of operations one is when the switch is closed and another when the switch is open let us first consider that first part of operation the switch is closed whenever the switch is closed at that time this part will act as a short circuit so yahan pe main short circuit dikha do this is acting as a short circuit because of this entire current whatever you are getting from this uh, supply end will pass through this short circuit path this forward uh, free wheeling diode this free wheeling diode and this load r and l will not be connected kyunki jahan pe bhi short circuit hota hai current always flow through the branch and any current will not flow over here to ye branch mein se kuch current nahi jayega that means whenever the switch is closed it is acting as a short circuit because of which you are not getting anything at the output kyunki pura current the entire current will flow through this switch so look at the output waveforms at the in case of output we have found that is v0 from 0 to this point this is t on t on means the time period for which you have closed the switch so here you are getting zero output now look at this diagram this is the diagram of waveform of inductor current whenever the circuit is completed like this whenever the switch is closed then the inductor started storing the charges so the graph increases say some from some value i1 to i2 during this t on time period that means during the period whenever the switch is closed this is first case second case same way jaise maine yahan pe v0 output ka bataya waise uh, output current will be also zero because v0 and i0 are uh, identical as per as this on time period that means as per as this closing of switch is concerned ab second mode of operation whenever the chopper switch is open now when this switch is open circuited i will show open circuit over here so there will not be any flow of current because of this open circuit that means entire current which is coming from the source will move like this through this uh, free wheeling diode and then through this rl earlier the inductor was charged this inductor was charged i mean it has stored the energy we have already discussed the property of an inductor so that stored energy will be returned back because the path is now completed through free wheeling diode so the current started decreasing from i2 to i1 this is the waveform of output current similarly whenever this path is completed dekho ye open circuit ho gaya so current started flowing through this free wheeling diode and then through this rl so output voltage waveform will be like this and in case of current the current which was stored i mean charges which were stored in the inductor started reducing exponent started decreasing exponentially so the graph of output current is like this so this is the circuit diagram and explanation of step up chopper next is derivation of output voltage for step up chopper this is the corresponding diagram which we have already discussed uh, during t off off time period this switch a uh, chopper switch will be open circuited and the current will flow through this fwd ideally this fwd will act as a short circuit to yahan pe main aise ek straight line dikha do this is acting as a short circuit and the current will flow through this load rl voltage across this load is v0 now energy input to the inductor during t on t on matlab 
वेनेवर द स्विच वॉज क्लोज वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दैट जब स्विच क्लोज था दैट टाइम दिस दिस वॉज नॉट इन पिक्चर यहाँ पे स्विच क्लोज था एंड एनर्जी स्टोर एंड एनर्जी इज स्टोर्ड बाई द इंडक्टर सो दिस इज इनपुट एनर्जी बेसिक एनर्जी का फॉर्मूला होता है वोल्टेज इंटू करंट इंटू टाइम दिस एनर्जी वॉज स्टोर बाय द इंडक्टर ड्यूरिंग टी ऑन दैट दैट इज वेन द स्विच वॉज क्लोज तो ड्यूरिंग दैट पीरियड E I that is input energy is V S supply voltage into I I is current into T on T on is the on time period that means the time period uh, for which the switch was closed second interval में second mode में switch हमने open किया तो circuit क्या ऐसा हो गया during this time the energy is delivered to the load by this inductor so it is shown by this uh, by this arrow that means flow of current is like this in that case the available voltage will be v0 minus vs so v0 minus vs because now the uh, energy is which was stored by the inductor will be delivered to the load so it is voltage difference v0 minus vs into current i into t off in the ideal situations if there are no losses then input energy and output energy that is energy delivered to the load must be same so i can write ei is equals to e0 that means We can easily write E zero LHS पे लिखते हैं हम लोग so V zero minus V S into I into T of is equals to V S I into T on अब ये equation simplify करके हम लोगों को V zero का पहले equation तैयार करना है अब ये दोनों साइड current के terms हैं so I can eliminate these two terms so now equation becomes this t of can be transferred at the rhs side so i can write v0 minus vs is equals to vs into t on upon t off then this v0 can be transferred to the rhs so it can be written as vs into t on upon t off प्लस वी एस ये वी एस भी यहां पर ट्रांसफर किया है सो वी एस कैन बी टेकन कॉमन एंड इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन प्लस टी ऑन अपॉन टी ऑफ वी एस इज टेकन कॉमन सो इट इज रिटर्न एज वन प्लस टी ऑन अपॉन टी ऑफ वी नो दैट टोटल टाइम पीरियड टी इज टी ऑन प्लस टी ऑफ सो आई कैन राइट T off as T minus T on. So let us simplify this equation further. अब यहाँ पे LCM लेते हैं, so this equation can be written as V zero is equals to V s. LCM ले लेंगे तो ये one into T off हो जाएगा, so it is T off plus T on upon T on and upon LCM is T off. But we know that T off plus T on is T. That is the total time period. So this equation can be written as T. देखो okay, numerator में T off plus T on का value T put किया. Then this T off just now I explained can be written as T minus T on. So T minus T on. Now divide numerator and denominator by T. So let us write the new equation as हम लोग न्यूमरेटर और डिनोमिनेटर को T से डिवाइड कर रहे हैं सो दिस वी एस एज इट इज तो यहाँ पे वन आ जाएगा यहाँ पे वन आ जाएगा एवरी टर्म इज गेटिंग डिवाइडेड बाई टी वन माइनस टी ऑन अपॉन टी नो रिकॉल द थिंग्स T ऑन अपॉन T दिस वैल्यू T ऑन अपॉन T इज द ड्यूटी साइकिल डिनोटेड बाई टी सो फाइनल इक्वेशन कैन बी रिटर्न एज वी एस इन द ब्रैकेट वन अपॉन वन माइनस डी This is the equation of output voltage of step up chopper. Next part is time ratio and current limit control. Actually, this is called a uh, voltage control strategies uh, of this step up chopper. <clears throat> From the exam point of view, we may expect the uh, short question related to this part that uh, explain time ratio and current li uh, limit controlling methods. so first two methods that is constant frequency operation and second variable frequency operation these are called time ratio control 
in case of constant frequency operation as the name indicates the frequency of operation is kept constant we know that the frequency f is inversely proportional to total time period t we are keeping f constant that means this total time period t is kept constant so during this operation total time period t is kept constant therefore f is kept constant but t on and t off are varied to vary to change the value of uh, d that is the duty cycle so by keeping this t constant and by changing t on and t off we can vary the value of d but do remember whenever we will change t on as well as t off we know that total time period t is addition of t on and t off we are changing we are keeping this value constant and we are changing these two values so that this value is maintained constant this type of control is called constant frequency operation second variable frequency operation it is opposite to the earlier case as the name indicates in this case the frequency is varied frequency changed so that the total time period is changed and uh, duty cycle d is varied that is it is changed in this case either e uh, either t on or t off is varied once the t, let us say you are changing t on then t off is kept constant and if you are varying if you are changing t off then t on is kept constant so this is the variable frequency operation the same way that these two operations are called time ratio controlling operations next is current limit control as the name indicates it is rel related to the value of current so when output current is greater than i0 max there are two certain threshold levels one is i0 max that is the maximum value of output current and i0 mean that is the minimum value of output current when the actual output current becomes greater than i0 max then chopper is off and reverse case when output current becomes less than i0 minimum then chopper is turned on so these are the time ratio and current uh, limit controls of the chopper so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video